Hey guys, Kyle Lego Productions here. Back at again with video. Today we're doing another showcase, and today it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, well they're not all custom made. In fact, only two are. So we have Yondu, Star Lord, Drax, Rocket Raccoon, Ego, Baby Blue, and yeah, so let's tell me. So let's get to the showcase. I'm gonna take all of them off. So first off we have is Yandu. This is Yandu from the set. This from the set that came out. I only bought one set because I wanted to be blue. But here he is. He has his little thing. Oh, I did that animation if you saw that or not. Um he has his red fin right there. It's pretty cool. Could be better. It's pretty good though. And he also has, I think I might paint this just solid red sometime, I don't know, and paint his top of his thing red too, but I don't know, it's just, uh, probably. Okay, so he has only one sided head, and he has scars on his head, if you can see, he has focus on his scars, kind of looks like a fish. Like in mutant fish. There's his scar shape. There. And he has um this cool detail body to go and the design goes right onto his feet. And the back he has back printing on his torso. Just like a buckle and stuff like that. A spoiler. Um yeah, spoiler alert, he dies in the movie, so I just wanted to say that, just because. Um, so that's Yandu. Now, next, let's get to the next character. custom is, well, it's not really custom, the second character is Star-Lord. There is, there is improvement on to this character, so, here's double side, please. This is Chris Pratt's face. You can also get that in the Jurassic World set. He has a new cool hairpiece right there. The new hairpiece. And so take this off. This is J Jangle Fett Silver um, Jetpack. And I think it looks good. At first, I gave him a brick built one, which looked terrible. I was like, why don't I just give him the normal jetpack? So I did. And I, they didn't give him guns in the set, so I got my old guns from the old Star Wars I had. And I just give it to him. And he has a jacket right there, you can tell. There you go. It's a nice jacket. I think he does have black printing. Yes, he does. This is back of his coat. It's pretty cool. It's not necessary, but they did it. It was because. And I gave him plain black feet, which should, could be better. Actually, I think in the old Star Lord, they gave him. His own printed feet, if I'm if I, if I, um, leave, if I'm correct. So, yeah, I'm just trying to find my old one real quick. So, I'm gonna take a second. I like the new hair piece at first, it was just like a normal hair. It looked weird. It was like Tony Stark's hair, like this kind of hair. But it had, it was Chris Pratt's color. Mm. No, he did not have printed legs. This is the old one, and this is the new one. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one has more black printing than the other one, huh? So this is the old, um, yeah, the old Star Lord. Which is cool, but I like this one better. So, yeah, and this is his helmet. I put a silver head in there. I'm not gonna put it on. I wish it didn't have hair like that. They didn't redo his hair to look like this hair. But I guess it's whatever. So, that's the helmet. Now, the next character. Let's get into it. Guys, the next character is Drax. You've seen this in animations before. Um, this is just like a normal gray body, scratch off the details of the scissors, given two katanas or whatever they are. And I gave him just like this little design on his pants because the Guardians of the Galaxy colors are that color. 
Yeah, I think I did just this. I think this was big, um, is that what we're for Ninja Turtles? Big, big foot and big mouth? I don't know. Dog pound, dog pound, that's it. I uh, just described with a bunch of cool little details on him. This is skull right there. I just tried to repl replicate it. And I did it on his arms, but they faded away because this is pretty old custom. To be honest. And his head is a zombie head, and I just did deep tattoos on it. And it's pretty little people sitting there. It's not that great, but. It, it does justice for the figure. I didn't, I, I didn't want to buy an expensive set and get to buy just for Drax and Gamora. But that's them. Character is this polybag rocket raccoon. This came from Toys R Us a long time ago. So I'm going to take him apart because I don't want to. He has small legs with um, printing on it. On the sides and... And it has like a little gray feet. I think this is might be the only feet that has little feet that has printing on it. Um, next is like this cool little bo body with like jacket and a little star in the middle. In the back has cool details and arms. He has arm printing on like the other characters. That's how. I, that's why I like this one. I think I might give Star Lord these these hands if I really want. I don't know. I'll just see how it looks. Um. And his head, it's more like a raccoon head, and it's red and it has black on the sides. Oh, his tail. His tail is just a normal tail. It doesn't go down, I realize this. If it goes down, he can't stand. Okay? So it has to go up. And I realized that till a while ago. Not too long ago. And that's how it looks. That's Rocket Raccoon. Let's get to the next character. Okay, the next character is Ego. This is custom. Um, he doesn't have a cape on top, but I want him to have one. This is just small black, uh, brown pants on the back. This is a Star Wars character's body, but I think this looks decent enough to the character's body. Yeah, it's just about have shoulder pads that I didn't bother doing it because you can't really see it because there's a cape. And the same color, sand, a dark sand color and tan hands. And he has a Batman cape and a cut, and I cut, um, little, a big cape, made a little cape for his top, and this is his head. The back of it is just the normal head. This is old on Solo's head, I believe. I just, I mixed white and black and made gray, and I, put, and I painted it on there, and I painted black, and I just, and then made the smile too big, so it was like, and I just made a little red thing like it looks like his mouth was open here even Anakin hair and gray. You can also I think I have another one in the sea which I got rid of. But yeah. There you go. That is Ego. Now I'm not even gonna stop recording for my last character. My last character is super small. I need a little stand for him. This is my favorite one. He needs the smallest. Baby Groot. They put detail on him. It's pretty cool. He does good justice for it. And he has a um, little cool jacket thing. And the little I will does justice for the character. And he has a little jacket like the other ones. And he has a little madness. I'm surprised they didn't make him the, the baby figure from City. I'm going to get the baby. I think it would have been more accurate if they did this, and they should have. I don't know why they did it. This. I don't know why. I was going to paint this one day, but I didn't because I, don't, I like it. Um, his head comes off like a normal <laughs> figure. Teeny head, teeny tiny. Little baby claws. They should have done this for baby group. Like, yeah. Just, just um, sculpted the head. And this is bigger than Baby Goose, so it would have been bigger. That's what I wish they did, but it's pretty good still. They made them all have a little claws, like, and they can connect onto the characters, so Rocket Raccoon can hold them. Like this. You can hold hands. Eh. Eh. And you can put him down with him, and he, that is that. So what we got is like this showcase. We're like going to the galaxy. I don't have Gamora. 
I just need to make her bread and it'll get around to it. So this is me always in a thumbs up. I'll uh, see you guys in a second. Peace. Oh, Yandu, I thought you were dead. I am, bitch.